hello everyone my name is Hasham welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll guide you through how to track specific form submission on your website using Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 on our website there may be several forms but uh, not all forms are equally important some forms may be related to conversions while others may not in such case uh, we may need to track specific forms separately uh, actually the new ga4 has the default form tracking feature but it tracks all the forms on the website additionally the default ga4 uh, form tracking option has some bugs for example when you turn on that default form tracking option it may conflict with the facebook pixel and also website error submissions so in this video, I'll show you how to track specific form submission using GTM and connect them to GA4. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my dummy website, uh, which has two forms. The first one is contact us form for general inquiries. The second one is uh, the get acquired form, mostly used for the lead generation. I assume this get acquired page will be used for various purposes such as a landing page for paid ads or its inquiries will be used for measuring leads. So I need to track submission specifically from this get acquired form. Also note that these forms are created using contact at 7 plugin. If you don't know how to create and add forms to the page, please leave comments. I'll bring a separate video for that. Moving back to the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is turn off the default GA4 form tracking option. Also, if you don't know how to set up a new GA4 and Google Tag Manager, I'll, uh, I have published a full tutorial video and I'll put the link in the description below. So for this tutorial, I assume that uh, you will have GA4 and GTM ready. All right. When you navigate the GA4 dashboard, click the admin settings icon at the bottom left, then click data stream here, select your website, scroll down to uh, event section, click on the settings icon, ensure that the form interaction option is turned off. All right, now let's go to the Google Tag Manager dashboard. First of all, we need to turn on the turn on form variables. For that, click on the variable section, click the configure button. Make sure all these checkboxes are marked under the form section. Once you have ticked all the form options, click the submit button to publish your changes. In the next step, uh, we need to create a tag. Click the tag section here. Click the new button. We have to give it a name. So I'll name it uh, as lead forms. Then click tag configuration. Uh, click Google Analytics. Then click uh, GA4 events. Now uh, we need our GA4 measurement ID. So let's go back to the GA4. Click admin. Click data stream. Then uh, select your website. We know this path. Here's the measurement ID. Uh, let's copy it and paste it into our tag configuration. Here we need to uh, give a name to the event. Uh, this name will be shown in the GA4 event uh, report. So I will name it uh, as uh, quad underscore forms. As a practice, I use snake cases for tag names. Uh, so I use underscore between the words. In this video, I'm not going to use the options below. So I move to the triggering of section. Once you open it, click the plus icon to add new trigger. Again, we have to give it a name. I'll name it uh, Quad Submissions. 
click trigger configuration and scroll down to form submissions at this moment we need to select all forms the reason is first we need to find out what is the unique form id or form url of the get acquired form because that's how we identify the get acquired form and track it separately okay let's uh, save the trigger and tag now we are going to uh, tag assistant preview to find the unique form id enter the website url here and uh, click connect this will open your website uh, in a new tab with the tag assistant debug mode now you can see that our ga4 tag has uh, already been fired okay let's open a get a quad page in debug mode here's the form i want to track i'll fill out the form quickly and submit it okay the form has been submitted now i'll go back to the gtm we can see uh, lead form tag has been fired because uh, this ranked all the forms also we can see an activity called form submit click it and select variable tab under this section we need to find the form id so i scroll down mm, i see there is no form id that has been defined so this can happen anyway we have the form URL. We can use the form URL as a unique identification for our uh, specific form. Also note that there is there can be a situation where your forms may not have any unique ID or even even URL. So in the in that case, you can use the page URL as a trigger point. Here I have a unique form URL, so I'm going to use it as my trigger point. I'll copy this URL. Now I go back to the GTM triggers. I'm going to edit the trigger. So instead of all forms, now I select some forms. Here I select a form URL in the drop down menu. As I mentioned, you can select any parameter which can be unique to the form. In this box, uh, you can select either contain or equal as a condition. Here we can paste the unique form URL and then hit the save button. All right, everything is done. Now we have to check whether our trigger works. Again, select the tag assistant preview. You can see the GA4 trigger has fired as usual. And under here, we can see our new quad form trigger it's not fired yet so first i want to make sure this new trigger only fires for get a quad form submission to check that i'm going to submit a form on our general contact us form it's a different form so i will quickly fill it up and submit it all right let's see in a tag assistant preview okay there is nothing that happened our trigger hasn't responded to this form. This means the first test is success. Now let's see what happens when we fill out the get acquired form. Okay, um, submit. All right, now we can see our new trigger has fired. It means now our event trigger is working and we can separate the track if anyone fill out this form on our website. So the last step is we need to uh, publish our new changes. We can hit the submit button and make our new trigger live. Now your GA4 will start to track uh, this new trigger. You can go to the admin settings and click events. Also, please note that it will take some time to update and visible. Uh, here your new trigger in the GA4 event section. I just published it, so I can't see it right now. It can take up to 48 hours. Once it update, uh, you will see, in this case, uh, it will be uh, quad underscore submit event. 
all right uh, this is how you can track specific forms in your website i hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful if you enjoy this video please remember to subscribe to our channel if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video